governor of Benue State, Governor Octum, and the many lies told against him. You have told many lies against governor of Benue State, Governor Samuel Octum. He is one politician who has caught the attention and admiration of many Nigerians for his style of politics, courage and boldness, and a man from a humble background. The early story of the Benue State Governor before coming to limelight indicates he was not born with a silver spoon in his mouth. He suffered while growing up to survive, also did odd jobs to take care of himself and his family. His story is well fitted to the saying, from grass to grace. It could be remembered how E. Samuel Autumn got a resounding take a bow chorus from the Senate during his ministerial screening. When he stated that he was once a motto park tout, his sincerity got him favor. It suffices to say that Autumn is sincere. Unfortunately, sincerity has eluded most Nigerian politicians today, and this is not unconnected to the myriad of problems bedeviling this country. Most of our politicians are not sincere. Most of them are corrupt. Most of them are liars. Well, they are the problem of the country right now, politicians. They are the problem of the country right now. Buhari was once a soldier. And they say, there is a saying that says, once a soldier is always a soldier. But as soon as Buhari tasted power, he forgot being a soldier and become very corrupt and nepotistic. Well, the blood of the soldier still runs in him. So he has combined the corruption with the uh, soldier uh, blood together. So it's working abnormally in his system. That's why it has been said that he is incoherent and has dementia. He's an old man for crying out loud, but he's a wicked and a demonic a dictator. Let's continue with Governor Autumn. Governor Autumn became the governor of Benue State in 2015 under the platform of All Progressive Congress. He got sat, uh, dissatisfied with the party and switched to the People's Democratic Party, which is PDP. Under its platform, he is the current governor of the state. For a while now, Governor Autumn has come under attacks of barefaced falsehood from members of the opposition, opposition party, the All Progressive Congress, APC. Although these attacks are expected because they are opposers, however, those tissues of falsehood have always failed because they lack facts and were only meant to distract the governor's administration. And it has been said that there were unknown government that attacked him recently just because he's fighting for his people. He's fighting for the people of Benway State. He is fighting for the people that elected him into office. He is fighting for the people that he is serving because as a governor, the priority of your citizens or of the citizens in your state, it's your bad right. So you must take them first. Because when the killing was too much, he said, no, enough is enough. There should be a reprisal that they should fight back. And all the people in the state and the citizens in the state were very, very happy up till today. And as soon as he left all progressive Congress, went to a a PDP, he still, you know, uh, campaigned and he was re-elected under the party PDP. Hmm. Although those attacks are expected because they are opposers. However, those tissues of falsehood have always failed because they lack facts and were all, almost and only meant to distract the governor's administrations. Members of the opposition party have accused Governor Tom of not performing in the areas of security, infrastructure, economy, education, etc. But the facts shows otherwise. The facts available tear their falsehood into shreds. Governor Autumn's administration has constructed more rural roads than any administration before it. Therefore, opening up villages and boosting their local economy equally to more rural electrification projects have been completed and commissioned with many others ongoing. The Autumn's administration has initiated a constructed roads in major towns in the state, which are Makodi, Boko, and Otupo. It has constructed, just to mention a few, 
Apa Aku Road, Saha, uh, Sahu Road, Giado White Road, Amadu Belo Way, all in Boko Town. Otupo has also got its share of the roads with Armstrong Avenue Road, Commercial Road, Ochi Doma Way. In Makodi Town, roads such as Customary Court Road, Tewese Agbadu, Yakio Road, Welfare Quarters, Mobile Road, and many others have all been constructed, opening up new layouts for commercial and residential purposes. In the education sector, the Autumn Administration has constructed over 700 blocks of classrooms, renovated some with all of them furnished and conducive for learning. Worthy of note, and our Governor Autumn and his government also, you know, has furnished a government model secondary school, Makodi Government Girls Model uh, Secondary School, Aliade Special School for Exceptional Children, Aliade, and similar others scattered across the state. Governor Otom has boosted the agricultural sector of the state by providing subsidy on fertilizers for the past six years, as well as procurement of 50 tractors and giving to farmers at 60% subsidy. To Today, Benue State has a functional digital television station, first of its kind in northern or in the northern part or middle belt of Nigeria, courtesy Governor Autumn. The governor has built arguably the best palace in Nigeria for the chief paramount ruler, while the Ochi Idoma Palace is ongoing. Well, on security issue, there is no doubt of his achievements in this area. He has championed the ban of open grazing in Nigeria, which at first was objected by the federal government. Some state governors and Fulani groups such as Mieti Ala, Kata Ore, and Mieti Ala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, but today its acceptance has gone across the country. Even the southern governors has also banned open grazing, but Governor Alton was the first to ban open grazing in Nigeria. Hmm. Regarding the many lies told against his administration, Governor Autumn has done enough with little resources. He has been consistent with monthly salaries and has placed a working measure to offset the pension areas. Lies are darkness and they cannot stand the light of fact. Governor Autumn deserves commendation for doing much with little. Well, it has been said that Governor Autumn is the first governor in Nigeria that is not owing any civil servant. He does not owe anybody in, in his state. Governor Autumn is worthy to be emulated by other governors. Well, what is your take and what's your reaction towards this? I would like you to you know jump into the comment section and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get notification whenever we post a new uh, article. And don't forget to share this news so that others can be aware. Thanks for listening and God bless you.